Design is a collaborative process that involves stakeholders and collaborators across your company. PMs can use Figma for brainstorming or to give feedback through comments. Writers can leave suggestions for copy or edit it directly. Researchers and designers can share and test prototypes. And developers can inspect properties, copy code, and export assets. In this Figma for Beginners series, we demystified this process by following the evolution of a mobile app from initial wireframes to an interactive prototype. Sharing early and often encourages collaboration with the right people at the right time. There are a few things we can do to set up our files and make this a seamless process. With the growing popularity of open design, members of your team might view and contribute to files at any point in time. To help orient people to our files, we can create custom thumbnails. This frame has the thumbnail dimensions of 1920 by 960. Anything within the 1600 pixel safe area in the center of our frame is always visible in the file browser. We can include information like the current status of a file, an image or illustration of the file's contents, information about our team, and hyperlinks to pages, frames, or external documentation like specifications and requirements. Right-click on the frame and choose Set as Thumbnail. Now, when your team members see your file in the file browser or open it in the editor, they can easily see that information. When and how you invite your teammates to your file may vary. Invite developers early to give feedback on the viability of your explorations, or near the end of the process when you're ready to hand off designs for production. You can invite collaborators to your files with edit or view access. Viewers can still comment on files and prototypes and export static assets. They're also free. You can even embed files and prototypes in other websites, like your product management tools or design system documentation. To find out more, visit the Figma Help Center and search Embed. If you join the file as a viewer, Figma will look a little different. The Simplify toolbar gives us access to the Move tool to select layers, the Comment tool to leave comments, and the Hand tool to pan around the canvas. Viewers can also access Presentation View to preview frames and interact with prototypes, as well as other settings like toggling layout grids, rulers, or pixel preview. Instead of the design and prototype panels in the right side bar, we have access to the inspect and export panels. When we select objects on the canvas, the inspect tab displays the names of the selected layer, read-only properties, and code snippets for that object. Click copy next to a property to add code snippets to your clipboard. If a component is using styles, Figma will display the style name in the corresponding field. This is useful if you want to use semantic naming that matches your production code. If you've added descriptions to your component or links to documentation, you can see them in the inspect panel when you select an instance. Viewers can also export assets. As a developer, we want to export these icons for development. We can select the icon, go to the Export tab, and click the plus icon to add a new export setting. Figma will create a default export setting of 1x PNG. Your designs aren't set to a specific resolution. You can change the size of the export using the multiplier. If you want to export assets at multiple resolutions, you can add another export setting. You can also change the export format. Figma supports exports in PNG, PDF, JPEG, and SVG. We'll change this to SVG and click Export to download a copy of this icon. If you want to share files with viewers, but prevent them from copying frames from the canvas or using Figma's export function, you can disable the setting in the Share modal. To learn more, search Exports in the Figma Help Center. Congratulations! You reached the end of the Figma for Beginners tutorial series. We've covered a lot of topics during this video series, and there's no shortage of features to explore. The best way to improve at using Figma is to get in there and play. For more inspiration of how others are using Figma, check out the Figma community. If you get stuck, click the question mark in the bottom right corner of Figma to access our help center and video tutorials. Thanks for joining us.
Let us know what you learned or what you would like to see more of in the future, and subscribe to Figma on YouTube for the latest product and community news.